What is the difference between pass by value and pass by reference parameters? Let's try to understand this with the help of code. This is the example of pass by value. Okay, here we are setting the variable x and y some integer value. Then we are printing that value. Now we are calling one method which name is pass by value. Here we are passing the x and y as parameters and here is our method. And here after the values via parameter, we are assigning new values to x and y like this. And then after the method call, we are printing x and y again. Okay. But here you can see the new assigned values are not printed. Old values 5 and 10 are printed only. The reason is when by default this variable x and this variable x ha uh, have different addresses in memory. They are not the same variables. They are different. Yes, the value is passed but the variable address is different. So if you assign anything here, that will not reflect here. Okay, that is passing parameters by value. But suppose we want to maintain the changes in x and y here and want to see this as output. Okay, these values as output. For that, we will use passing parameters by reference. Here is the code. Exactly same code. Everything same. Except in front of parameters, we have used ref keyword. Now, same first we printed x and y. Then we call the method by pass by reference. Now this ref keyword will make sure we pass the address also. So now the x variable and this x variable have same address and same value. And if you will change anything in this x and y, that will be changed up there in the method also. So this time the new output will be carry the new values of the x and y. I hope now it is clear to you when you have to use the pass by value and when you have to use the pass by ref in the parameter.